This is it, Masked Singer fans. We just got a commercial for season 12, which showcases about nine new costumes. Some of the photos are kind of eh, so we have to guess on what these things are, and we have no names for them. So some of the names we're coming up with them are kind of, let's just call them strange. So let's go ahead and go over the commercial. Here we go. I'm stumped right now. Okay, yeah. We saw nine different costumes on this. Nine. And there's no, no names for these, so we kind of have to kind of come up with some strange names. But before we do, the girl singing in the beginning, did it not sound like Cher? I'm sorry, I had to just put that out there. It sounded like Cher. It may not be Cher, and it's probably not Cher, but for a second there I went, oh my gosh, that's Cher, right? And she wasn't moving too much, right? It sounded like Cher. I, I, am I wrong? Tell me I'm wrong. Because if they have Cher on season 12 of The Masked Singer, this will be an epic season. And I can imagine she would be in the first episode and then get revealed, because they usually like doing that for the celebrities. I don't know why. That being said, let's talk about the costumes. The first one, the one who I'm calling Cher, we're gonna look at the photo and notice that this is essentially a woman who's singing with a big pirate ship under her, a big wooden pirate ship. She has a wheel in the middle, there's masts. It is pretty cool, I love this. Her skirt has an anchor on it, it's red. And I mean, this is such a very unique costume. Something that I would have never expected before. I have no idea what you would call this. I called it a woman ship. Like a friendship? A wooden ship. Woman ship. Or like a wooden ship. That would actually make more sense, wouldn't it? That would. But I have no idea what you would call this. It is a cool costume, though. I very much like this. And we're going to look at these all out of order because we can. Next is one that I found very interesting. It is very colorful, a big pink nose, eyelashes. We kind of get a zoomed in version of it in the beginning and then they kind of zoom out. Everyone's calling it a dodo bird, which in a way, looking at it, it does remind me of that. All the colors, the eyes, the nose. I can see this being a dodo. It is very pretty. Very, very, I mean, the pink really pops along with the yellow. For some reason, its eyes remind me of Barney. I don't know why. It just does. It's like a time period I grew up in. Next, we have the bull, which we see for a split second. He has a top hat. Looks like he's got like some kind of pads, almost like a skateboarder in a way. Not really much you could see from him because we only see him for literally a second. And we're thinking it's going to be called the bull because next to him we have the big B, which tells us it's a bull or maybe a bullseye. Costume names once again. This next one is the most bizarre costume I've seen in this video. It's hard to tell what's going on here, but looking around you, you can see that there is jellyfish, or there are jellyfish. There's water under them, so I'm assuming it's under the sea. I originally said it looked like a cactus, but no, it's coral. Its face, I don't really understand what's going on, but around it is coral. A lot of people are saying this could be a, a, a duet, two people singing together here, but I think the person next to it who might be an oyster is just a background dancer because if you watch the video enough, you see that there is another oyster on the other side because I'm pretty sure that this coral over here can only just spin in circles from the looks of it. I mean, it seems like something really hard to do, which by the way, made me kind of realize, could this be someone who is in a wheelchair? This would be the perfect costume for it. It's low to the ground. It goes in circles. It spins around. This costume would be perfect for that. So maybe a celebrity who is in some kind of wheelchair, and so they had to be close to the ground, which, if that's the case, that's pretty cool. Next, I want to say could be a lily, a purple lily. You can kind of see out the top of it and a couple other things around, like leaves, and she's got green underneath. So it could be a purple lily. It's called a purple flower for now. Very pretty. The next one is something that people are calling a burnt or puffed up peep or melted peep because it looks like a peep 
but it got like blown up in a way. And now it's just, it's just living. Its ears like half hanging down. Everything's kind of pushed out in weird areas. For its shoes, it's wearing bunnies or bunny slippers, which are cute because I feel like I had those as a kid growing up. And looking at just everything going on, it almost looks like she's singing about some kind of washing machine. Everything's a washing machine around her. So I wonder what on earth that's going to be. On a side note, if you look on the right hand side in the bottom of the costume, it almost looks like there's a lollipop. Not sure if that's a clue to something. Like I'm thinking almost in a way that this could be a dust bunny instead of a peep, but it's also purple. But I think Dust Bunny might be it. Just throwing that out there for this time. Next is one that's really hard to see. It looks like a red bird, maybe a sparrow of some sort or a cardinal. It is very pretty. It looks like a female from here. Not really much I could tell you. It's got black over its eyes, red hair, black, black over its eyes, red eyes, eh, in a way. Um, so that's a beautiful costume. The next one is also hard to see. He's far away, but it looks like a dragonfly because it's got three and three of its wings so i would say it looks like a dragonfly it could be a different kind of bug we have no idea what it is it is a cool costume and then lastly the one that everyone is talking about it's actually the main article that everyone's been talking about and that's the slime monster and i mean slime this is a cool looking guy okay First of all, the costume itself looks like he is melting. You can see stuff dripping all of it off of him. He's all green. His eyes are glowing orange and yellow. Massive eyes, which is kind of neat. On the top, he kind of has like a pumpkin head, which makes people think that maybe he's a monster of some sort. Maybe a pumpkin turned slime or a slime pumpkin. I have no idea what that would even look like, but I'm assuming that's what it is. It's got a cool little yellow bow tie. Um, Mask Singer, I'm wondering if this is a Halloween episode? Because to me, I'm looking at it, and I'm like, oh yeah, this screams Halloween. Or maybe we're having a Halloween night, which does make sense. If you're looking at the schedule and you're saying, wait a minute, what is, what is October looking like? Halloween falls on a Wednesday, the day before Halloween. So it's like, we could get a Halloween episode because Halloween's the 31st, this is the 30th. So we could be getting a Halloween episode. Maybe it's themed to something really neat. But guys, that's all we know. The article did come out from Entertainment Tonight, or EW. And I mean, I read Internet Weekly, I'm sorry, Entertainment Weekly. And title is, See the Masked Singer Season 12's First Performance, New Costumes, and Ken is Losing His Mind. And that's all seen in that trailer. Ken is always losing his mind. Did you really need to have that as the article title? That being said, what costume do you guys like? So many cool costumes on here. No official names. We still don't know the format. We still don't know the theme nights. But it's going to be a fun season 12. Once again, in the comment section below, let me know what you think. And if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe. Turn on notifications and give this video a thumbs up. And yes, those who are asking what the heck is going on here, if you don't follow me on TikTok, the past few days, man, I've been going through a lot. That's why I have not been creating as many videos. Um, my eye has been just in bad shape. I mean, yesterday, the day before that, the day before that, I couldn't even open it. So this, believe it or not, is pretty darn good. This is after antibiotics and Benadryl and uh, drops and any kind of medication you can imagine uh, is this is finally getting better. This is actually on the on the good side. So we're doing fine. Once again, please, if you haven't done so, subscribe, turn on notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. I'm Joey. I'll see you later. Bye.